today we're going to do a GM Gen 4 5.3 engine that has uh, disable on demand on it and we're going to do a teardown on it and then we're going to do a rebuild series on it and a DOD delete with a truck Norris cam and some this has 243 heads on it but everybody seems to like 706's lately personally I prefer 243's but I'm gonna put 706's on it because that's what people want and uh, we're gonna rebuild this engine and then put it up for sale so this is the build series on teardown series and then the build series on it here we go Probably a high mile. This is a junkyard engine like you would find at the junkyard. And, uh, you know, high mileage. Probably didn't change the oil very often. But, uh, yeah, this is probably this is typical what you're going to find. Got a couple broken head studs. We'll show you how to take those out. Could have a little uh, coffee can or canister or jar or something in the tub. Put the bolts that you take out so that they're not just all over the floor. I put these in the top of the valve cover and just lay in there. And I'm going to be washing all this anyway. So, next is the cylinder head. Head bolts and these are torque yield, one time use. Let's get a screwdriver and get the dirt out of the top small 10 millimeter ones so we can get those out. What I'm doing is cleaning the crud away from the bolt these bolts here so that I can get a socket into it. I've done a couple hundred of these over the few years here, ten years or so. And it's kind of repetitive at this point, but you know.
cleaned and reused, except for the internals such as the cam. We'll put new camshaft, new pistons, new oil pump, um, new timing chain, uh, new rings, new main bearings, new rod bearings, new cam bearings. Um, we'll do the DOD delete and use new GM, actual GM brand LS7 uh, lifters and lifter trays. Um, we'll build a set of 706 heads for it. Um, and then, and what the 706s do for it over the 243s, the 243s actually have bigger valves than the 706s. So ultimately they flow better, but the 706s have a smaller chamber. So they create more um, compression. It, it's irrelevant almost, unless you're putting a cam in it or port and polish it, putting a big intake on it and uh, throttle body it and, or a twin turbo in it or something like that. But in for a stock vehicle, you're fine with 706s, 862s, 243s, 799s, whatever you want to put on it. So, but anyway, uh, let's get to the next oil pumps right here, my oil. This will be a pump gas motor, an 87 octane pump gas motor. User friendly. Nice little engine cover. Shaft shot. If any of the pistons are stuck, I want to know that up front. Because even as a core, you know this is a $400 engine, so uh, that's what I pay for them as a core. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, and then you're gonna build it in with all these new parts, and you don't want to start out with a piece of junk to begin with. So yep, yep. Everything looks fine. Everything turns over fine. Before you really tear it apart, you should really check it and make sure everything is good. Make a full revolution. If you can't do that, then there's probably a problem. You need to investigate it. This one has made a full revolution now by hand. So absolutely no issues. No stacked rod bearings. I don't see any bluing on the rods or the crank. 
the thrust actually looks good on both sides of the center support. Uh, if there was rust in the cylinders, it wouldn't make a full revolution without giving me resistance. So it's a good sign that so far, so we're good. So let's keep tearing apart. The rod bearings actually don't look bad. This tell you a lot about an engine, how well it was taken care of. The old bearings. The rod bearings actually don't look bad. I mean, we're replacing them. But as far as maintenance level, <coughs> whoever had this engine probably, yeah, probably changed the oil decently or regu fairly regularly. So yeah, not bad. I can tell if this is a 4.8 or a 5.3. It is. The crankshaft. The part number itself. Ends in 22.16 if it's a 5.3. And it ends in a 4.38 or something like that if it's a 4.8. And uh, the difference is the stroke of the crank and the length of the rods. The pistons are identical, the blocks are identical, everything else is identical. It's the crank and the rods. That's, that's the difference between a 4.8 and a 5.8. The other thing my helper didn't do when he put this on an engine stand was and I've been busy, it's my fault for not getting to explain it to him, but uh, I always pull the rear cover off before I put it on the stand. That way I can pull this rear uh, fifth main out. But uh, it's okay, I can get it while it's here, I just gotta use a wrench. These two I can use socket 